Hi guys and girls on YouTube, just a really, really quick video here to show you and this time we're talking failure in multi-layered ceramic capacitors, MLCCs. Um, now if we take a look at this, here, I've got a meter set up with a couple of crocodiles. If I put the meter across that diode, it appears, I'm going to move that, there we go, it appears to be the diode that's actually shorted out. Um, so if we just leave the meter clipped across there like that and now we unplug this connector going to the main board and if you watch the meter I unplug the connector the short goes away um, so it's not actually the diode that's faulty it's a short circuit on the main board that this connects to um, so if we move on to the main board, um, once you've established it's a short, what you need to be looking at is these here, MLCCs, multi-layer ceramic capacitors. Um, it's almost certain um, that one of these will be short circuit. Um, now there is quite a few on this board, um, so what I'm going to do is just stop the camera for a few minutes while I just run a meter around them. Um, and that's where the power goes in there, so it's likely to be um, something on this top. And if you notice, um, quite a few of them are in parallel. Um, the chances are these will be 10 microfarads each, put four in parallel to get 40. So uh, just stop the camera, let's have a quick look round. Right, okay, so I've had a look round with the meter, um, and the short appears to be coming from one of these two. Um, capacitors here and um, they are both in parallel um, now I could put a low ohms meter on them and um, see what which one's actually faulty uh, but in this instance it's just as easy to change them both and uh, then take it from there right well that's it the short's gone away now um, if we move over to the board I'll show you where I've removed the two capacitors from one from there and one from there and you can also see there's another smaller one there but that's not the problem um, that's also in parallel um, it's one of these two bigger ones that went there and there that's the problem right so I've got the new ones out there um, now these capacitors can be very very small um, so you need some good surface mounted kit for replacing things like this um, this is the set of tools I use, um, we've got um, one for every application here. Right, so for this particular job I'll be using the SMT3 tweezers. Um, if you look at the end, they're specially shaped for handling small surface mounts. up to it now right so let's give it a go then put the new ones in right so as you can see there that's the two new caps in um, the shorts gone away and uh, the faults fixed so we'll just take a quick look at these caps right just to give you an idea what size these are um, I put one of one of the two I've taken out on a penny and also this is the faulty one so i'll put the flute meter on the diode range and as you can see that's the one that's short circuit so all right guys many thanks for watching and um, i'll see you in the next video goodbye